In the Tapajós National Forest in the Brazilian Amazon, my colleagues and I have been investigating how the structure of this evergreen tropical forest responds to seasonal water stress and drought. Ultimately, we hope that this research will improve our ability to predict the future of these ecosystems in a drier climate. There are many ways to monitor a forest, from a perspective of individual tree health and mortality to a satellite's eye view of the forest as a single surface. Our approach falls in the middle. We take a detailed view of forest structure by walking the ground with a LiDAR instrument looking up. This returns information in two-dimensional slices or vertical planes that describe how leaf area is structured across heights and light environments that vary from full sun to deep shade. So this is the LiDAR, it uses a laser to measure the distance from the sensor to leaves or, or trees or whatever. And then this is the computer that's um, logging the data. And then I've got, I'm battery powered, but it's a uh, motorcycle <laughs> battery in the back here. Um, so it's just a case of pulling this uh, heavy equipment over, under, um, anything in my way. But for the most part the trail's pretty good. Using the fine-scale data from the ground-based LiDAR, we identified distinct leaf area responses to seasonal dry periods and a strong El Nino drought. Responses differed between upper and lower canopy levels, and also between highly illuminated lower canopy regions in gaps and the deeply shaded understory. Interestingly, while previous studies found large trees to be most vulnerable to droughts, we found that small trees in high light environments were the most sensitive, perhaps because they have shallower roots. Taking variations in both canopy height and light environments into account may improve our ability to predict how tropical forest function will alter with climatic change. <laughs>